The family torn apart in the aftermath of the Capitol riot. A Texas teenager is speaking about why he says he tipped off the FBI about his father, who was facing federal charges connected to the riot. T.J. Holmes has that story for us. Good morning, T.J. Hey, good morning to you, Robin. You said it right there, a family torn apart. And why? Well, the FBI says a Texas man was at that Capitol siege on January 6th. Then he returned to his Texas home, and he told his two teenage kids, don't turn me into authorities, because if you do that, you'll be a traitor, and traitors get shot. He was all over the news. You could see him, his blue coat, his helmet, his GoPro, his bulletproof vest. It was all there. The man in the blue coat is Guy Reffitt, caught on camera taking part in the siege at the Capitol. And while Reffitt was there, his son, 18-year-old Jackson, says he was receiving real-time text updates from his dad. What kinds of things was he saying? What was his tone to you? He was enthusiastic. He was through the roof. Wow. Yeah. It, it was pretty surreal to hear him talk, like, as if this was something that is going to save our family. But Jackson says the opposite happened, and his family has been torn apart. According to FBI documents, after Reffitt returned from the siege, he allegedly told his wife and children, if you turn me in, you're a traitor, and you know what happens to traitors. Traitors get shot. Did you think your dad would hurt you, even kill you? No, no. I think the way he's been manipulated into thinking by these extremist groups and what's been fed to him was worrying enough that I don't know what he was going to do next. Guy Reffitt was arrested and is facing federal charges related to that insurrection at the Capitol. Jackson is now in hiding, cutting ties with his family, who are upset with him, he says, after he called the FBI tip line weeks before the Capitol siege to alert them about his dad. I have all these people telling me that it's my dad's decision. He did what he did, but that I still feel responsible. The FBI would not confirm the tip line call from Jackson, but Reffitt's wife told investigators he's part of a group called the Three Percenters, a far-right militia group, according to the affidavit. Reffitt's wife, Nicole, tells ABC News, Guy is a loving husband, devoted father, loyal friend, and passionate patriot, adding, it saddens me that during this political climate, we can't communicate and agree to disagree without a fight. At first, it was talking down to anyone against his opinion. Uh, for example, he would say that uh, liberals uh, wouldn't survive in this world. I didn't know what he was doing online, but I've heard what he's been talking about. He's been hyping something up. I had no idea what it was. And I'd rather contact authorities than know what was going to happen. What's most important is that young people or anyone who's concerned about a loved one talk to someone that they trust, talk to someone who is on their side and is going to help them work this through. Why be public about it? Because I want people to know how awful this political strain can be on certain people. And I feel like I should have to have the voice to tell people that it's okay to come forward. Your moral compass is going to be absolutely just the right thing to do. Again, Refid's wife, and again, that's Jackson's uh, 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 mom, says that her husband is a sweet man. She uses that word sweet and says this has torn the family apart and that still she did not feel threatened when he made those statements. But George, uh, the son, says he's speaking out now because he believes a lot of families are going through what his is going through after that insurrection at the Capitol. A lot of turmoil in that family. Okay, TJ, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.